Hello there, today we're going to be looking at the top 10 most paying jobs in the visual effects industry. The visual effects industry is a large industry which employs a number of artists from modelers, riggers, animators, lighting technical directors, supervisors and more. While a lot of artists use 3D applications as a hobby, it is always nice to know that when you need to, you can turn your hobby into a job. So let's, so let's do a quick breakdown of what to expect as an artist in the VFX industry. First, who is a visual effects artist? A VFX artist is responsible for creating computer-generated models, simulations, animations, and on-screen special effects for, for movies, TV series, and more. A lot of technical knowledge is required to become a hireable VFX artist and, and sometimes knowledge for specific software and pipeline is a must or a plus. A lot of VFX artists gain the necessary training through a degree or certificate program in a VFX school and some just use online resources like YouTube. Salaries are going to vary heavily by location but also by skill level experience. In most, in most cases, the more technical your job, the more money you will make. Jobs with a TD or technical director in the name usually, usually earn more but the highest paying jobs are, are always supervisors and leads. These usually come from compositing and lighting since they have most overview knowledge. So if you want to get more money while knowing the ending of a movie like Avengers Infinity War or Endgame for everyone else, this should be your target job. Modelers, riggers, animators usually work on small portions of a movie and, and may never get a chance to read the entire script of a movie or even look at the final animation sequence they have worked on as several artists may work on different parts of a specific animation, working on specific frames and in big budget movies with big monsters, your task may be limited to making sure that something like Godzilla's feet do not clip through the ground and that's all you look at for the rest of the movie. A simple rule of thumb, the fewer there are people who can do what you do, the more money you are likely going to make. Also client facing artists are always going to be the best paid, for example VFX supervisors, flame artists, colorists, concept designers, often a director will request for specific individuals to be hired for these roles, making it much more easier for them to negotiate a bigger salary as opposed to, to the numerous replaceable artists who work in several in VFX studio departments. So let's look at salaries. Modelers. Modelers in North America and London get paid the most as that's where most VFX studios are. Salaries range from 50k to 80k US dollars. Though since modeling can be easily outsourced to places like India, most jobs go there and also technology like photogrammetry is also chipping away on the few jobs that exist in these places. A good example is movies like Lion King used nearly 90% of scanned models for anything that was not an animal, that was not animated. Imagine if all the rocks and plants in Lion Kings were hand modeled or sculpted, that would be hundreds of jobs but, but it would also be super expensive and timely. Other jobs like technical artists or visual effects artists command something around 70k to 120k US dollars. Your job as a technical artist is to make sure that the artists have it easy doing their job. If an artist wants a specific brush that is, that is not built into the program, it's your job to make that brush. Here is a list of VFX jobs and their corresponding annual salaries. There you have it. If you like more videos like this, be sure to be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I also do VFX tutorials for anyone who wants to get into the industry. Thank you for watching. See you later.